Welcome back, everyone. Today we're going to delve into the conditional operator in Java, also known as the ternary operator. This operator allows you to write concise conditional expressions, making your code more readable and efficient. So let's get started. The ternary operator is a shorthand way of writing an if-else statement. It's called a ternary operator because it uses three operands. For example, take a look at the syntax we have here. Result equals condition question mark, value f true, colon, value of false. So this takes the condition, checks it, and if the value is true of that condition, then this is what result gets saved to. Otherwise, or else, this is a value result gets saved to. Okay. So the condition will be the Boolean expression evaluated. Uh, the value of true will be the value that is assigned to result if the condition is true. And value of false is the value that is assigned to result if the value is false. So let's take a look at a simple example to understand how the ternary operator works. So we have an integer number equal to 10. And then we're going to take a string of results, and it's going to uh, equal if the, num if the number, so the condition, if the number is greater than 5, it's going to be, uh, result is going to be greater than 5. Other else, it's going to be less than or equal to 5. Okay. So this example of the condition, number greater than 5, is true. So the result is greater than 5. If the condition were false, the result would be less than or equal to 5. Let's consider a more practical example, where we use the ternary operator to determine a grade based on a score. So int score equals 85. We're going to string and grade again, um, and it's going to be equal to scores. It's going to be equal to a if the score is greater than ninety. Else, if the score is greater than or equal to eighty, it will be else if the score is greater than or equal to seventy. It'll be c. Else, if the score is greater than or equal to sixty. It'll be b. Else, it's going to be f. Ooh, multiple. We got grade B because we got 85 in there. So this is example. The ternary operator is used to determine a grade based on the score. The condition score of greater than or equal to 90. is checked first. And if false, the next condition score greater than or equal to 80 is checked. And so on. So you can use the ternary operators to assign values to variables based on conditions. So if A, a is 10, B is 20, and we're in its max, and then the variable max. Um, and we're testing if A is greater than or equal to B. And if it is, then A gets saved to max. Otherwise, or else B gets saved to max. And we're going to print out what the max value is. So here the ternary example checks if A is greater than, or greater than B. So if it's not, max is assigned to B.
So, as we saw before, you can actually you can mess ternary operators for more complex conditions. So it's important to keep it read keep readability in mind. So we saw the example with gray. Let's take a look at another. So we're going to take our age, age equals 30. And so if the age is less than 13 as a child, if it's less than 20, then they're a teenager. Um, uh, if it's less than 65, then they're just an adult. Otherwise, they are else, they're a senior. So if age is less than equal to 13, then we'll say they're a child. Else, if age is less than 20, we'll say they're a teenager. Else, if age is less than 65, then we say they're an adult. Else, they're a senior. And then we'll just print out whatever that category is. So in this case, 30. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm an adult. Woo, made it. Sorry, little Nero, you're still a child. It's okay, though. Oh, and you're 19. You're like, I'm an adult, though. Yes, you are, but you're still a teenager. And then, you know, over 65, at some point in life, this won't be true anymore, but you can get some security and everything, so, yeah. You're a senior citizen. You get a senior discount. Okay, cool. In this example, the age is evaluated against multiple conditions to determine a category. And that's the conditional or ternary operator in Java. It's a powerful tool for writing concise conditional statements. Just remember to use it uh, judiciously to maintain the readability of your code. Practice these examples, and you'll quickly become comfortable with this operator. Happy coding! And this concludes our session on the ternary operator and conditions. Experiment with it in your assignments and see how it can be used.